Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all having a fantastic morning. I have a surprise. The Epidemic Sound team from Sweden has come to Toronto for Buffer Festival, and I thought I'd take them to Niagara Falls on a little road trip. So, in that nature, I had to get a big ass car to fit everyone. This is what we're rolling with. <laughs> I'm excited for this. Let's get it. <laughs> I didn't think the day would come that I would be driving a Dodge Caravan. So I'm going to pick up all the girls right now. There's, I think there's six girls that will be joining me to Niagara. They're all from Sweden, all here with Epidemic Sound, except two are here on their vacation. I have to state that, otherwise they're gonna hurt me. It's gonna be cool. I can't wait to show you guys uh, this group. Fortunately, I have like four stops to make right now. I'm super hungry. It's morning time. I have to wake up at 7 a.m. Lesson number one of renting any vehicle. You're not guaranteed that there's gonna be an auxiliary cable. You're not gonna be guaranteed there's Bluetooth. So I always bring my speaker system with me. I'm gonna be the DJ for the evening. So I wish you guys could hear the music. Maybe next time. What's up? What's, What's up? up? <laughs> How are you? Good morning. I picked up two of the chickens. Yes, chickens. <laughs> the Swedish chickens. <laughs> My Swedish chickens. Swedish fish. Are you guys excited? We are excited. I got so angry. Yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah, okay, bro. Got it. So our introduction got interrupted. Hello. <laughs> State your name and your State location. My, My name is Emma, and we're in Toronto. Yes. <laughs> and my name is Josephine. And where are you from, Justin? From Luma. 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 <laughs> from Sweden. Luma yeah, sounds, Sweden. Luma, Luma sounds super Luma? Uh, Caribbean. Luma. <laughs> yeah. Luma. 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 Is it Luma? No, it's Luma. In Sweden, they, 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 it's not even what, it's not called rolling your tongue, but it's like. Is the R's, you mean? No. Oh, no, they, no, no, no. their tongues touches the, I don't know why I'm trying to describe yeah, this process. Um, we're picking up some more Swedish girls. <laughs> Alan's it's funny because everyone in the world's like Swedish girls are the hottest girls and they're very hot. And I have a car full of them. <laughs> so like if you guys want me to deliver them to you, just let me know the address. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No. Right, Emma? No. No. <laughs> Look, it's another Swedish girl. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Could have been. She could be. <laughs> could have been. So we're at the ice boat right now because uh, Tammy and uh, some of the other girls are staying here. I just said Tammy only because Tammy's coordinating this entire thing. I'm just kind of like the driver. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's gonna be good. <laughs> He's such a liar. <laughs> I'm not. It's okay. I'm we not. woke up. We woke up this morning, and that was 99.9% .9 of the battle. Yep. So we're here. Yep, we're determined. 100%. I just need food. <laughs> Yo, look who's here! <laughs> Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just dream about Niagara Falls the entire I'm day. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Well, you guys are. Oh, you're not dressed warm enough. I'll tell you what? that. Wait, what is that? A picture of Niagara Falls? Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, it's not. It's not. Are we gonna be wet? Yeah, probably. Okay. But so, no, no, no. They'll give you like the the wetsuit thing. <gasps> Yeah. Okay. Is that where people take like engagement photos? <laughs> Perfect. No. <laughs> we didn't bail. Whoa. We didn't bail. We were so worried yesterday. You were like, do you really want to go? Well, because we, we went. Said no, no, no. Like, we we, we went go. we went drinking last night. We yeah. had like two bottles of rosé. Yeah. And then Emma and I were like, should we do this? No. I was like, yeah. No. Yes. Let's not come. I was, I was she wasn't down. She wasn't down. Okay, I'm very I'm worried. About but you know why? Because she's been there, that's why. Yeah. I'm very worried about our friendship, Emma. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. Yo, are you guys good back there? We're good. So this is all my angels. Yes. <laughs> all my Swedish angels. <laughs> the Swedes have arrived Wee! to Niagara Wee! Falls. Wee! 
if you guys see their excitement in the car, it's actually quite entertaining. Um, yeah, we just got here. Niagara Falls. I was telling them in the car, whenever you see Niagara Falls, the first thing you want to do is pee. I just wish like public display of peeing was uh, uh, more welcomed here in Canada, but it's not. <laughs> I want it to be a national park. Oh. Do you want it to be a national park? If I want to be a national park, like well, do you want this to be a national this park? This to be a national park. It's Swedish national people? Park. Yeah. Only Swedish people come to Niagara Falls and are like, this should be a national <laughs> park. <laughs> The journey behind the falls begins. <laughs> Are you yeah. excited, Tammy? I'm scared. I'm a little scared. Aren't you scared? Mm. Scared? We're gonna we die. Scared? These are all Swedish people fine. supporting in climate change. This is They're all supporting, especially her. <laughs> this is as ratchet as I'll ever look. Actually, this is the Swedish color, isn't it? Yeah. Yellow? Yeah. If I had some blue on here? <laughs> yeah. Journey begins. Ready. Oh shit. We're gonna die. Tell me what we're gonna do. Oh my god, this is so scary. <laughs> we are right now experiencing behind the falls experience. Literally. Right behind me is the waterfall. This is absolutely insane. The girls are loving it too. They're loving it. I think they're loving it a little too much because I'm fucking so. Welcome to Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Niagara Falls. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it's yours like we swim. Oh yeah, I'm still recording. Oh. <laughs> You're still recording. I'm still recording. This is death. I think I swallowed a bit of Niagara Falls. Me too. I didn't realize I was coming to take a shower. I took a shower this morning. It was pointless. Yeah. It was pointless. <laughs> I'm yeah, kind of amazed are. these girls just saw a black squirrel <laughs> and they're losing their mind because supposedly in Sweden there's no black squirrel they're brown they're brown. Orange. 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 orange orange yeah wait say that again they're orange <laughs> what color are they brown what color are the squirrels brown orange, orange. <laughs> okay so we survived Niagara Falls. Barely. Almost. <laughs> Barely. Almost. I mean, some of us did at least. Uh, we were soaking wet, so we like took off all our clothes. I didn't film that process, unfortunately. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, we laid them out so that the sun could like dry them out. It's a, it happens to be actually a really nice day. It's just we're now cold because we were wet. Um, but I really wanted to talk to you guys because I haven't had the chance to tell you about this video, what it's going to be about. Um, so like I said, I have six lovely Swedish girls with me and I thought that it would be a great opportunity to take some portraits of them um, and in doing so, talk to you guys about the process I take when I'm taking someone's picture, you know, give some references to the decisions I'm making, <laughs> why I decided to shoot certain angles, talk about the, the composition, talk about, you know, the direction, a boot, as they think we say. We do not say a boot. What Canadian about. says a boot? I've never even about. heard of it. About. <laughs> yeah. About. Okay. <laughs> like to talk about. I might throw them down the falls <laughs> before this video ends. <laughs> Anyhow, that's what the video is going to be about. So let's waste no time. I want to get some portraits. Get it! Uh, okay, guys, the first shot is with the one and only Tammy coming live to you in Niagara Falls. So I've noticed this uh, kind of, uh, what is it called? An arch? an arch outside and there's some rose thorns some landscaping so first thing I want to talk about is obstructing your view 
when you're taking a portrait of someone so you can create more depth. And you can do that by layering things in front of them, kind of allowing them to manipulate and play around with the space. Another thing I want to talk about is light and how it reflects and it creates shadows on the face, which is what's happening right now with her with her look. It's going to go really nice because she has glasses and you get some reflection. So I'm just going to go in and direct her. Okay, so put your hand here. I'm closer. Um, actually, I want you to stand here and from this hand. Don't be afraid to smile. Uh, obviously, I don't want to destroy this plant, but I'm going to have to. Because <laughs> uh, sometimes if, you're, if your subject is too close to the item in front of it, that's going to be obstructing them. Uh, you don't get the, the blur that you want. So if you just pick a leaf off the ground, I just, I mean, this is going to die anyways. It's already dead, but um, you can play around with it a little bit more. And look straight in the camera. Awesome. I'm happy with this shot. Very simple shot. All you have to do is get your subject to stand close to something, an element that reflects. Uh, in this case, we actually have an abundance of light as well, so it's going to add a little bit of more texture to the image. So, without further ado, we need to kind of pose here in this space and look towards my camera. So as you can tell, see this part right here is a little dark, but I'll, I'll bring up an exposure when I do the post production. It's a simple shot. It's clean reflection. So you need to like turn your body this, so your head is facing this way. This way. Yeah, yeah. You're kind of like hold on. The best way is like if you're in here. And these are around you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we got Lavisa here and she's going to model the flowers for us. Um, now, the reason why I chose this specific color of flowers is because I was thinking about the complexion of the skin. She has very fair skin, but she has beautiful blue eyes. So it's going to pop up with the white uh, flowers that are, that are not going to be too contrasty for her look. But they also have a little touch of color inside of them. Uh, where the pollen is, there's a little bit of green and the yellow, um, which is also great because you want to be able to have some other colors to manipulate in the editing process. So a simple photo, just getting detailed shot, trying to get really close up to her, almost as if she's kind of surrounded by flowers. I might even Photoshop more around her. You want me to hold but this, the focus here is actually going to be very key details, maybe her eyes, um, her, some of her face and her, her hair. Yeah, you can hold it. Yeah. And look straight ahead. Sweet. Am I done? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, let me see. Oh. So a lot of these are will be like they'll be cropped. Wow. So. Alright guys, so right now uh, we got Joanna who's gonna help us. Now the whole concept here is to think about light and contrast, how you can work with shadows. So I'm gonna try and focus on her eyes. In the darker parts of the image, I'm gonna black them out as much as possible. I'm gonna break those shadows so that you don't see them. Uh, and what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna have this really, really cool contrast between her skin, her eyes, um, and the shadowy elements that are around her. Uh, we're in the middle of a field right now, and there's lights breaking through the tree. Uh, so you gotta work with the landscape around you and try to utilize it the best you can before it disappears. Alright guys, it's a little loud here, I'm going to try to speak up, but we got the beautiful Miss Emma here, who's going to volunteer herself for the next tip, which is leading lines. This is simple, we're using this wall right here, and her hand position is going to help direct the attention of the camera and the focus to her face. I'll show you right afterwards what I'm taking a picture of. Charlotte is going to help me with a light 
seeing. Uh, here I want to see as much light and variation of colors reflect on her. And then what I'm going to do is actually do a double exposure of uh, various different other elements on the same photo so you guys can see a composition. But it's always fun when you're in an arcade or when you're in like a neon lit place to do uh, shots where there's a combination of images to make a double exposure. We're going to start off here and then we're going to go down. Now that I have my first image, I'm going to take pictures of other shots. I'm going to take pictures of other things, other elements. And I'm going to layer them onto the image to create that double exposure. The cool thing that you can actually do is buy those little crystals and you hold them close to your camera and you can get that like effect also without doing a double exposure. But to save time, I don't have that thing with me. Also, I don't want to walk around with a crystal. Like, it's kind of weird. All right, guys, you know what time it is. Time to end this video and head back to Toronto. We're actually dried up now, which is great, so we can go back in the car and not make a mess. I just want to say it's been awesome here. Always a fun time in Niagara Falls. You guys have to check out this place. And when you do, be sure to bring a lot of friends. Woo! Peace.